Okay, this is the tire of a car and it got flat. The wearing is not uniform. On the inside it's flatter than on the outside. This tire was on the left side of the car, so it was the front left tire. And because of this unequal usage, the car turned easily, just a little bit, to the left. So I was holding the wheel in the center, but the car easily turned to the left. From the outside, these threads look pretty deep and the tire looks pretty well, but on the inside it's not that deep at all it's almost flat here so it's deeper here and it's much less deeper here and even here if you look this should be something like this and it's missing let's say half a centimeter okay and after a while it was flat all the air escaped and you can see these lines this black line all around and that's because there was no air in the tire and the rim compressed the entire tire something like this compressed it to a much smaller size and this line was formed because of that compression okay and let's see why the air escaped from this tire. Let's search for some problems. And here we have one. It's a crack in the tire. Let's see it from the other side. And you can barely see anything. But the metal was cracking. So somewhere there it's a crack. Oh, it's that one. So it's here. Just a little crack. I'm pushing it with my finger. Okay, so that's the crack where possibly the air escaped. Probably the car went on something and all the air escaped from the tire. Okay, and this tire must be pretty old. As you can see, I'm pressing it with my finger from the inside and it's full of cracks. Okay, and here's another problem, which I didn't saw earlier. It's that one. From the outside is not visible. But from the inside it is visible. So those are some plastic strings there radial refers to this one it's tubeless but it's not with steel wires polyester or something so these are the radial lines that run through the entire tire they run this way in a circular motion and it's weaker there but it's not too dangerous I think you can hear the metal there are some metal wires in the inside somewhere You can hear it now. And it's not visible from the outside. Okay, this is a mud and snow tire. 13 inch diameter. Radial. That refers to these lines that run through the tire, tubeless, that it does not have interior rubber wall and the maximum load 437 kilograms 44 psi maximum pressure polyester 
uh, steel tire failure due to underinflation and overloading follow owner's manual or tire placard in vehicle explosion of tire slash rim assembly due to improper mounting only specially trained person should mount tires Here it says M plus S, that means mud and snow. That means that this tire can be used in the winter time and in the summer also. Okay, that's it. Thank you, bye bye.